Welcome to DNA Mobile Gaming. My name is Jordan, and today we're going to review this flash cart brought to you by Easy Flash for your Game Boy Advance. So let's go test it out. So let's start off by ripping into this box. Basically, it gives you a little bit of a description of the features on the back, and it looks like it has the new FRAM capabilities. Not going to get into the logistics of that. It has DS to GBA transfer support, Rumble support for games that support it, website support, which I'm thinking that's only for the NDS. As you see down here, it says NDS Lite. And power saving design. So basically, this one's supposed to be better than the regular Omega. I never purchased the, the regular Omega, but I read reviews that this definitive edition was the best. And it has RAM expansion. So... Let's check it out and see what's inside. Pretty excited about this because games for the Game Boy Advance right now are still kind of crazy. So there's nothing else in there. There's just the, the plastic and there is the cart. And it looks like it comes with a micro USB thumb drive to plug your micro USB in if your computer doesn't support that. And yeah, so here's the... It looks like there's instructions maybe on the back here as well which is kind of neat. So it kind of tells you what you should format your uh, SD card to and just a little bit of information about it. Basically, it's just giving you pointers on what to do with it. And then you have just your flash card. No SD card yet. I have an SD card that we're going to format. And... Yeah, here it is. It's pretty straightforward. I've had a bunch of different flash cards. I have a GBC one as well. I uh, didn't do a review of that, but I do have that one. And it works as well as it should. So let's see what this does. I guess it's supposed to play Game Boy Color games and Game Boy and Nintendo games. I don't think it plays Super Nintendo, but I'm pretty sure it plays just regular Nintendo. So let's maybe plug it in and see... If it does anything when you boot it up from no SD card inside. Easy flash. There's the intro screen. Definitive edition. And micro SD card initial error. So we have to put an SD card in it and actually format it to its proper... Uh, basically, there's a file that you have to put on the SD card, which is called a bin file. So let's go on to our computer now and... Go to the website that it says to on the back of the box, which it says right here, easyflashomega.com, and we'll go do that right now. All right, so I popped in my SD card into my computer, as you can see here, and I'm going to right-click and format it, and there's a drop-down where it says file system, and like it says on the actual sheet itself, I'm just going to read the sheet here. So if your SD card is less than 2 gigabytes, you need to format it to FAT16, it says. Uh, if it's less than 32, FAT32, and then less than 128, so 128 or less, uh, you format it to XFAT. So I'm going to format mine to FAT32 since it's less than 32 gigabytes. So if it's 32 or less, I'm assuming that's what you need to format it to hence the fact that it's fat 32 so let's start it and let's format this and there we go so the card was already basically formatted and now we're gonna navigate to easy flash's website so let's type it in here and we'll scroll down so go to easyflash.cn the website that's on the box is probably from the supplier of, on amazon so if you want to actually get it from the actual Easy Flash website, as you can see here, you can do so. And then at the top of the screen, you can click on the download page or the download link. And then navigate to your actual Easy Flash product. So mine is the definitive edition. So I'm going to download this software. And that was pretty quick. So there we go. And then I'm going to show in folder. I'm going to open it. And I'm going to copy, so control C, and then paste that bin file 
right into the root of my SD card. And then I'm going to go back into Easy Flash's website because I think there might be some... Yeah, so there's some a thumbnail pack and a cheat library. So this is basically for your game uh, thumbnail pictures. So I'm going to download the thumbnails for now. I don't need the cheat library, but you can download that and then copy the folder onto your SD card as well, which is pretty sweet. But if you pop in the, the SD card right now the way it is, it'll work. So while that's downloading, I'm going to open up another file folder here. And I'm going to split the screen so you can see both sides. And on my desktop, I actually have some games already in a folder because I used to run an emulator. So I'm going to go into my games folder. And you can see I have some SNES, some GBA, and Game Boy and Game Boy Color. So I'm going to actually remove these two folders. I'm going to cut them, place them in the main of my folder here, and then I'm going to copy these over to my SD card. And I'm going to copy the GBA folder as well, because of course we want to see some GBA. And we're going to check the status of our images, and it's downloaded. I'm not sure why it's giving a, a bracket one. Maybe I've downloaded a file that was named that before. And then we're going to navigate to our folder which shows the images, and we're going to open this up. Just close this, copy that folder as well, and we're going to paste it on the root of our SD card again, which I'm going to find. Oh, it's right here. So let's paste that. And we'll just wait for this all to move all the items. So now that we're all, so now that all the files are moved over, we're just waiting for the last one here. You can look inside the folders. I have them all set up here. And basically you can set this all up however you want to, but I have these all in folders individually because it was just easier to copy them over that way same with my game boy color games they're all in separate folders as well it's kind of annoying but uh, i have my gba one set up so i have only the games that i wanted to play on here and now we're going to right click and eject this from the computer and we can remove it safely and soundly and navigate back to our game boy advance all right, so now we're back looking at our Game Boy Advance. I'm going to pop the flash cart out of the Game Boy Advance because there's the SD card isn't inside. And I'm going to pull my micro SD card out of the adapter that I use. And just going to slide that in there. It looks like it goes in this way. Yeah, pops right in there. So there we go. It just slid right in. And now we're going to pop it into our GBA and check it out. So this is exciting. Now we have a whole bunch of games for our Game Boy Advance. You can use this for the Game Boy Advance SP and the NDS as it says. All right, so there we go. We got our folders. And if we click on GBA, it'll actually let you look at the game. So let's click on, I think the settings will actually tell you What to select so if you select the, the select button it'll actually show you the little uh, thumbnail of the game so that's pretty sweet so that you know what game you're actually selecting so we got casper super mario bros and crash bandicoot so these are all the the classic nes that were converted into uh, the game boy advance so Let's load up Super Mario Bros. So you can get Clean Boot, Boot with Add-on. I'm not sure what any of this means, but maybe I'll do another review about that. But I'm assuming just Clean Boot. We'll load the game up, and let's turn the sound on. And I'm assuming we can only play one player. All 
All right. So, for some reason, it doesn't seem like it wants to allow me to play it. So let's turn it off. Turn it back on. Maybe that's just that game. It could be just the game file is corrupt. So let's try it again. So there's world one loading. Oh, there we go. But for some reason, it does not want to work with the buttons. All right, let's try another game. I think it's this game. Let's go with my favorite. You'll probably guess. Pokemon Leaf Green. There we go. Let's try this. Loading game. I'm thinking maybe it was just the, yeah, the game itself. These buttons are working fine. This is just the intro. So here we go. So everything's working. It might be just the game file that I downloaded. I've never tested that one for my emulator. Right, there we go. Let's check out the gameplay. So there we go. So that's Pokemon Leaf Green running. So let's go test out a Game Boy Color game. I think. I don't know if there's any quick buttons here for the Game Boy Advance game. So let's turn it off. And we'll turn it back on. And we'll run a Game Boy Color game. And it took a second there because there are a lot of games in here. So let's let's go down to Pokemon as well. LMNO. I think I have Pokemon on here. Hopefully. I should. Oh, it just keeps going all the way through all of them. I don't know why they're all in folders and then not in folders. There we go. Pokemon... Trading card game. Let's run up Pokemon Gold version. Just trying to scroll through this. There it is. So Pokemon Silver, let's see what the file is. GB compatible, oh, that's a zip file, that's why. Okay, um, let's go up to all the folders back up here because I think I've taken all the, fo the files out of their folders or out of their zips. It doesn't look like I put Pokemon in here. So let's, there we go. Let's do Legend of Zelda. And as you can see, it actually shows a little Game Boy icon. And it'll actually show you the, the full file name as it runs through. And if I click it, clean boot. 
And that was that was pretty quick. And this is the Game Boy Color version, Links of Awakening. And this was one of my favorites, so... I'm pretty sure I used to name my name Jordo. Because my name is Jordan. And let's play it. We got our little introduction. And it's working as it should. Seems pretty fast. And it's full screen, which is awesome too, because you want your games to be full screen to fit the whole screen. I know some uh, flash cards, the screen actually is cut off and there's no setting to change any of that. Okay, there we go. I found the, the quick button. So these are all the, the speed hack. Um, that looks pretty sweet. I like to... Let's do full speed, half speed. So I wonder how you turn all that on. B auto fire. Display. You can change. Oh, you can change your palette and everything too, which is pretty sweet. So it changes the color palette of the game. Let's see what we got here. We got Donkey Kong. So it doesn't look like it changes it too much because it is a color game already. So if you click select, I think it was select, or was it both bumpers? It was both bumpers. So other settings, you can change swap A, B. You can change all that, like if you don't want the A and B to be there. Uh, game Boy over SGB. SB is GB. I don't know what all that is. Auto SGB border. Identify as GBA, VSync. So it looks like you can mess around with a whole bunch of uh, settings. And the speed hack, I would like to see how to start and use that. Because I like some sections to be a little bit faster. So I'm assuming there's some buttons that you can press. Yeah, I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to talk to this guy, do a little bit of a playthrough, and maybe we'll look at the, the quick buttons for all this stuff in a moment. Once I can save this, I got my shield. Oh yeah, got my shield. I can go start my adventure. Come here, chicken. So yeah, this is actually pretty sweet. It's, oh, I guess it looks like, yeah, the game is cutting off uh, on the outside, you can see here. But I don't know if that was just part of the game because of the way that the Game Boy Advance alters the game from being uh, a Game Boy Color to the Game Boy Advance. So that might be just something that they did automatically. Or from the game, yeah, the Game Boy Color. But it still looks pretty good. It's playable. And when I look at it off the camera, it's pretty smooth. So it's it's nice. It's Let's save it, maybe. No, that's my map. Oops. I don't remember the buttons. But anyways, I'm going to turn it off. Maybe we'll look at the settings of our actual flash cart and see if we can enable certain things. So this is the gameplay setting. Save state, add-on. Oh, okay. So the add-on section here is probably if you wanted to play the game with a cheat activated i'm assuming uh you can set up your sleep and menu key so l and r are the menu key all right so let's press back it's okay and then we have auto save multi boot l and start is to delete a file open recently playlist 
if you click on the start icon thumbnail toggle which is select so i'm not really seeing so you got an auto save so this automatically saves the game um to a game state save rather than you having to save the game internally uh you can set it to turn off it looks like but let's see if there's any other settings here menu key oops so yeah if you select over if you select that you can change the menu key so it says maybe change your buttons and there's a sleep so if you click select while you're in the game you can put it into sleep mode so I'll try to figure out how to uh, do the fast forward keys and everything. Maybe in another upcoming video when I do some gameplay. And I think my first gameplay for the channel is actually going to be playing through with Zelda. So let me know in the comments if you guys watch this awesome guide about the Easy Flash. So let's not get distracted as to what we're reviewing here, which is the Easy Flash Definitive Edition. And this is for your Game Boy Advance. So I hope you guys are going to buy yourself one of these for your Game Boy Advance. I know some people just like to have the actual game cartridge, but we're in 2021 and everything's digital. So what's the difference of having all the digital games on one cart and not having to have a whole bunch of, you know, game cartridges so let's play some more links awakening and have a good day hope you guys subscribe to the channel if you've never been to dna mobile gaming before my name is jordan once again and have a wonderful rest of your thursday morning